Recently, Bethany and I decided to rent a camper van for a week to test out the van life lifestyle with our two cats, Ollie and Jet. Our destination, Death Valley, California, in the winter. We hope you'll stick with us to see what happened on our very first adventure, living in a van. to go pick up the van. So my job here at the house is to try to get everything organized and ready to go. Here he comes. <laughs> okay, one thing we are not is stealth. We're not even out of the We're still in the street. The street. Are the kitties back there? Kitties. There's Kitchen. Kitchen. The judge is making his space. Hi, baby. And here's Lady Beth. We got up really early, which is a good thing because we wanted to get a head start. All right. Here we go. No traffic. Except for right here where the five hits the 14, we have some traffic, but it's not very much, so. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to put this in drive. And then we'll cue the most van lifey music track we can find. In the middle of nowhere, we came to check on the cuties. They're just in the because, carrier. Down okay. Here. Hi, baby boy. There's baby boy in there. Baby boy's in there. Hi, baby boy. And we couldn't find Kitty. Yeah, so I looked up here. Look. <gasps> Hi, kitty. You found a bed. That is such a good spot. She's a good boy. See, they are sick of it. They're She's ready to be. Boy. They're ready to be. I'm making... sick of it. <laughs> I don't think it's too much further. Though. That's good. Yeah, here's where we're, here's where we are, and here's where we're going. Right okay. there, where the road turns. Wonderful. All right. Back we go. Back we go. It's only five o'clock, but we are ready to make dinner in this cute little kitchen. And while we're waiting, maybe would you want to see if you can figure out how to use the toilet? Okay, we need to be clear about something though, real quick. Yeah. I will only use this toilet to pee. She will need to pee. And it's really cold outside. And the really lovely outhouse is a little bit too far of a walk. Mm. Over here in our little lovely. Yeah, I think it's under it's under that room. seat. Yeah. <clears throat> now here we have a lovely chemical toilet. Uh huh. Brand new, never used. Do you have to pull it out of there, or can you sit well, on it tonight, as it is? <laughs> tonight I might <clears throat> just like pee, and then. Oh yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah, there's the litter box kitchen. You better use that. Is he gonna use it? No, I think he's trying to get to the other side. There's nothing over there. There's not another part of the house. <laughs> Your Jesse has found a bed. Here what? he comes. There's that little face. Little Jet, what did you find? Did you find a, a special place up there? Hi, Little Jet. <sighs> Here we are after night one. <laughs> <laughs> we slept a little. The kitties did not sleep at all. And Bethany's just made another cup of coffee. And then we're going to do what is known as a coffee walk that all the cool YouTubers do. I think it's more Instagram. That all the cool Instagrammers do. We got to go see Little Jet. He's sleeping in today. And then he stayed in bed. Where'd he go? Here he is. Hi, Little Jet. Oh, you're okay. You stay under there as long as you want. I still haven't been outside the van yet, so I don't know. <laughs> it's nice outside. I really don't know where we are. We got here after dark. I think everyone's packing out for the morning though, so we might have the place to ourselves for just a little bit. That would be cool. Coffee walk. Oh, be... Keep walking. No, keep walking. This is my thing. Keep walking. <laughs> Coffee walk. Bethany's gonna try to drive the big rig. Where is the e brake over here? Yeah, so if you push it, it'll go off. Okay, so now you're good. Let me put my seatbelt on. Now you're good to go. Our e brake is off, right? Yeah. Um, you are going uphill. That's true. Look at you go. This is pretty cool. This is our rearview mirror. I love that thing. Oh, we're heading to the kilns. Yes, the charcoal kilns. It took us a little while to get started this morning, but I think that's just kind of how it's going to go. So I think
think the road goes way over there, you see. Oh, for the kilns? Yeah. Like this will curve around and go up that hill there. And we've got this GPS here, which is handy. It's going to go around this corner and up that hill. All right, more to come. I think we have arrived at the kilns. Got this, look at this five point turn action going on. Backup camera. Who's leaving? Whoa, wow. Man, this road's bumpy. Oh. Whoa, wow. <laughs> oh, good grief. Hey. Should we turn around? He hasn't even had him in Mosa yet. We're going 10 miles an hour. Oh. Bethany decided to get out and run. I guess she finally had enough of my driving antics. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Should I stop and pick her up? I guess. Hey, here she come now. Are we there? I've like been driving down this road for a really long time. Well, I said 12 minutes, but we stopped to fool around like six times, so... Yeah. We have found abandoned stuff just what we were looking for this, this is, is pretty cool we had no idea this was here at least i didn't know this was here yeah this is really awesome and this is called Agraberry camp so i guess this is where everybody lived who was working at eureka mine which we'll see in a few minutes <laughs> this is where we should have parked this is what we should have driven <laughs> Don't get tet uh, what is it called? Tetanus. Tetanus? Yeah, you had it. Don't get tetanus. You need to get a shot before that happens. Like my new ride. Yeah, it's good stuff. I fixed her up myself. I can tell. Bloop, bloop. Came across these mine cart tracks. Shall we see where they go? So it looks like this particular mountain is full of holes. Ooh, that goes way back in there. And on down, I think we got a, a stamp mill or an ore chute or something over here. Do not drop your phone down here. Yeah, right. I'm going to put both hands on it. Word of caution. Before I look over the cliff. It's really deep though. And down in this chute. Wow. There's Bethany on the hill. So it looks like this particular mountain is full of mine shafts. It's fenced off, which is a very good thing. Because that, that literally goes straight down into the ground. And to figure out how deep it is, I'm going to use a very scientific instrument called a rock. Now, be sure to listen carefully. Yep, 35 and a half feet. I gotta find Lady Bethany. There she goes. She's gonna go see the kitties. Guess I better go meet Bethany back at the car. What are you doing? So I am making us quesadillas before you go to bed. Okay. So I have some whole wheat tortillas, some buffalo style shaved chicken breast. It's already mm. kind of seasoned. And then Drew has the smallest amount of cheese for his. Yeah. So I was very generous to get him from the general store at our campsite. Some string cheese. A pepper jack string cheese. And I'm going to try to put in the quesadilla and see how that works. Good God. And we have some salsa, so if it all goes badly, we can just douse it in salsa. Chug the pace. That is one big hunk of, oh God. <laughs> keep it in the pan, Thank keep you. it in the pan. Day three. She's going to the turlets. So here's our campsite at, uh, I don't even remember what this little town is called. Stovepipe Wells, yeah. There aren't even fire pits at any of these spots, and you have to pay $14 to park here overnight. But on a lighter note, let's see who's under here. Oh, look! This little jet! Who has pillows? Who has pillows on you? Okay, bye. Boy, right, we've trashed this place in a very short period of time. Cat litter all over the floor. 
Good grief. Success? Looks like there is a place on the side of the bathrooms where people can do like dishes and stuff. <gasps> but some lady was doing like full blown bathing. In there. Ooh. And I figured out where Golden Canyon is. Mm. It's on the way to Artist Palette, so we can hit that today. Oh, we're moving. And I got a little friend. Little Jet. He's getting brave. Looking out the windows. What you see out there, little guy? There's a lot happening, my chair. The world's going by so fast. Good grief. How are you? Um, I haven't looked at a mirror in three days, so I can't tell you. <laughs> there hasn't been a mirror. I Remember haven't looked I... in a mirror either. I think we probably should try to shower today as the morning. Yeah, that's probably a good plan. On our way to Furnace Creek area. We found a little oasis here at Furnace Creek. I think this is an ice cream parlor. For glampers. For glampers. Well, we won't stay long. Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I need one of these for our next episodes. <laughs> yep. She emerges. A vision of loveliness. Hey, nice t shirt. I still don't. Yeah, I gotta represent. Mm hmm. You guys could buy one of your very own. Check out our store down below. We are in, what is this called? Golden <laughs> Canyon. Golden Canyon. It is crazy, it's so quiet. Here goes Bethany, all alone in the slot canyon. Oh, poor abandoned child. Top of the red wedding. I mean, the red, what is this? Uh, red cathedral. Thank you. Bethany's not a fan of descents. I ate it so much. <laughs> okay, we're ready? Go! man on a mission to see as much of Death Valley as he can in a day. Did I make it? <laughs> I, saw, I saw the blue man, the man in blue. You saw him? Right now. <laughs> He's my inspiration. <sighs> you okay? How was it? It's epic. Okay. There's a little place where you can turn out and drive closer, so I thought I'd run back mm -hmm. and maybe we could find that. Okay. <laughs> How terrible is this? We are at Artist Palette here, over our shoulders. Very, very pretty. There are some very interestingly colored rocks up there. Not a bad view. Green and pink and orange. And uh, oh, there's a dude. Is that the guy in blue? Did he run all the way up there? Probably. Cool. We just got back to the van. And we peeked inside. And we, we saw this little face. We saw this little face looking at us. Oh, there's Jet. 
What are you doing? Oh, you've been hiding in there all day, haven't you? Poor little kitty, we missed Poor you. Guy. <laughs> that is the most darling thing. He's so precious. Look at that. Gold, brown, whitish, or beige, red, dark brown, more gold, and a little green. Nuts. Oh, nuts There's even nuts color up there. We have arrived. Where the heck are we? We're at the pads. We think they call it that because there are these cement platforms. Yes, we're actually sitting on one. It makes it pretty nice and level. It's nice. Yeah. This is the fewest amount of parked cars that we've seen. Um, probably because you're kind of in the middle of nowhere and there aren't any uh, restrooms or washrooms or things like that. So automatically I think that eliminates quite a few people. And the first night we were tilted one way mm -hmm. and the second night we were tilted the other way and tonight I bet you we're completely level. We are level. So the uh, cooking will be a lot easier. The eggs won't roll <laughs> off the shelf. <laughs> Let's see this. Find a little lever thingy. Spin the thing around. I don't want back. And I can sit here. Extend my table out. Drag my sandwich over. And eat. That's pretty good. I kind of want to go see what this, it looks like an overturned train yeah. car or something. If it's something worth seeing, I'll come back and let you know. Keys are with you. Right. Just going for a little hike through the desert. Wow, look at this view though. Look at these mountains over here, my goodness. Of the three places we stayed, this is definitely the most picturesque. I'm gonna see what this thing over here is. It's fenced off, so I'm thinking it's, maybe has a story to it. Something they want to preserve. All right, approaching the fence. Actually, that looks like there's an opening here. Several openings. What in the world? Is this an old train car? Or, uh, what is this? Oh, it's just an old dumpster or something. Some kind of large container. It looks like it would have fit in that hole if it had been positioned properly. All right, well, I got to go down here. in the world. Hello Z. Anybody home? What an oddity right out here in the middle of nowhere. Well I thought we'd seen it all but now I think I've seen it all. Good for him. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm, it is 55 degrees out here, probably lower than that now. Yeah, I feel like this would be a better idea when it's hot outside. But we've run out of time. We've run out of time and we desperately need to shower. Yeah. So I am going to demonstrate the shower. This is very important. This you put on the ground to give you a nice, somewhat flat surface to stand on. Here we go. Oh, is it cold? Yes. Oh, it's coming out now. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. This is how showers work outside. Then you hang this up, soap yourself off, shampoo, and then uh, rinse and repeat. So this is the other side where the towels are. I will say that the perks about an outdoor shower is the beautiful view, like behind oh, yeah. you and all around. <laughs> Can you close the door? It's getting kind of drafty in here. Shut up! I guess we can't sleep in the bed tonight. There's Kitten Boy. He found a really cozy <laughs> spot. I'm so tired. <laughs> and I really just want to wash my hair. We have learned quite a few things on this trip. We can put all of the meals that we need into a fridge that size. Yep. To last us for a while. Mm -hmm. And this is considering the fact that we don't have an oven. Yeah. Our water usage hasn't been that bad. We still have three-fourths of the tank left, and it runs at 40 gallons. So a little over half. Two days washing dishes, brushing our teeth. Um, I used it to fill for my coffee. But no, it was, it was a good learning curve. I feel like we kind of accomplished what we wanted to accomplish with this trip. Oh. We got to see a lot of Death Valley, the artist palette, a couple of abandoned mining compounds. Good trip. 
And now we know he can't sleep in the bed tonight. He's so proud of himself. He is adorable. The end. Gonna make dinner here in a little bit and then heading home to Mari. Mm -hmm.